Hello and welcome to the session on quadratic equations. This is brought to you by Handa Kafanda. If I draw my quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c in a graph, it could look like one of these six cases. It is important to analyze when an equation will look like one of these graphs. First thing to note is in this particular equation, it is cutting the x axis at two points. This one is just touching it. When will it cut at two points? When it will have two roots. When will it touch? When it has two equal roots. And when will it not touch? When it has no roots. So what was the condition for that to happen? So in this particular case, it has two roots. That means my delta, which is b square minus 4ac, is greater than 0. Only then it will have two roots. In this case, delta is equal to 0 because it has two equal roots. And in this case, delta is less than 0. Here also, this particular equation also has two roots, which would mean delta is greater than 0 for this. It has one root, so delta is equal to 0, and it has no roots, so delta is less than 0. Do you realize when will it point, when will the graph open upwards and when will the graph open downwards? That's the distinction which is left. Think about it for a while. You may pause the video if you like. If I look at the equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, I look at specifically the coefficient of x squared. If the coefficient of x squared, which is a here, is a positive value, then the graph will open upwards. If a is a negative value, then the graph will open downwards. So, in the first three cases, a is greater than 0, a is greater than 0, and a is greater than 0. It is open downward in the next three cases, which means a is less than 0, a is less than 0, and a is less than 0. Do you realize what will happen if a is equal to 0? It won't be a quadratic equation anymore. It will be a straight line. That wraps up the session on quadratic equations. Please stay tuned at Handa Kafanda to watch other videos on other chapters. Thank you.